Good morning. It's better. I know. Good morning, Miss Stacy. Oh, oh, you scared me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Good morning, Moet. Hi, Miss Stacy. It's so good to see you. I've missed you. I have missed you. What? What is that on your shirt? Oh, it says the cutest in the cal. Cutest it, in the galaxy. Cutest in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. It's Grogu, or some people call me Baby Yoda. I, I, I really was running late today. Okay. So I wore this yesterday for Star Wars Day, May the Fourth. May, May the Fourth be with you, Miss uh, Stacy. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I well, thought you might like my shirt. I do like it, and you are the cutest oh, in the galaxy. You. My hair is a hot mess today, but that's <laughs> you. <laughs> I kind of felt the same way. I tried to curl my hair like five times. It kept going straight. I'm like, this rain needs to go away. But, you know, you said you were in a rush, right? And I saw you running into the church, and I was calling you over and over. I was saying, Moet, Moet. What? Yeah, I was really? calling you. Mm -hmm. Miss Stacy. You didn't I, respond. I didn't even hear you. I, I was... I was thinking about May the 4th, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a lot going on. You know, that's kind of like my son. Like, I'll call him from upstairs. I want him to come down and take out the trash or help me with something. And I'm calling him over and over again. And finally, I scream at the top of my lungs. And he'll be like, oh, I didn't hear you. And I'm like, you heard me. I you really just didn't know I you. want You just know I want you to do something. I know you, Moet. There was a lot going on. There were a lot of people yeah. in, uh, downstairs. You know how? How everyone likes to greet one another with love and hug each other. So we're a chatty bunch. Yes, 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 we are. But I think sometimes we need to stop being so chatty and listen to one another, right? Absolutely. You know, that's where I was about to go with this, Moet. Um, you know, I, I go to the gym sometimes and I realize that people have like their AirPods in and I think they're just trying to tune out what's going on around them, maybe listen to good music, something that helps them like get through their workout. And the other day I went and I had to return a book at the library and it was so quiet in there. And I thought, wow, like you could hear a pin drop in here. Mm -hmm. And so I think sometimes, you know, well, Moet, you know, God calls us or God speaks to us. And so I think sometimes in order for us to hear God, we maybe need to tune the world out or what's going on around us out or go to like a quiet place. I agree, Miss Stacy. Mm -hmm. I was trying to be quiet just now and listen to you. <laughs> well, so you mean I should do that at other times too? I should maybe stop talking and just sort of concentrate and focus? I mean, if you feel that you need to, if you feel like you're going, you're going, and you're busy, and, you know, you haven't heard God's voice in a while, maybe you do need to slow down and, and open up with prayer or something and let God in. Hmm. And see where God is trying to lead you or what God is trying to say to you. But today we have something exciting planned. You know, it's first Sunday, so all the kids get to stay up here. Isn't that exciting, Moet? It is so exciting. Yes, then yes. I'm not the only kid up here. <laughs> Exactly. But there is, I think, a special skit. I don't want to say too much about it, and I don't want to say too much about what we're going to learn, but we have a peer, Raise Your Glass, Samuel. So I think what we're going to hear about is Samuel and how God calls Samuel. So, wow. we're, yeah, we're going to learn probably about how God calls us, too. Wait, does God call us on the phone? Uh, well, how about we wait and watch oh. what's going to happen, and then we'll find out, maybe. Okay, great. Thanks, okay. Stacey. I can't wait to find out. You know, next time I'll probably try to call you on the phone, since in person didn't really work. That would be, <laughs> that would be great. I always keep my phone on me. Okay, so speaking of calling, I have a knock-knock joke. Okay, hit me. Knock-knock. Who's there? Noah. Noah who? I know a guy that can build an ark. <laughs> hey, it's raining outside, you know, I figured. <laughs> but I'm bum bum. <laughs> oh, Miss Stacy, you're too funny. Um, I think that's probably a good one to end on because it's better than my knock knock joke. Do you, Unless do you, you really want to hear it. Well, let me ask. Let me ask. Let me ask. Do you all want to hear Moet's knock knock joke? All right. Okay. You want to hear it? Knock, knock. Hatch. 
Hachu. God bless you. <laughs> that was great, Moet. Thanks, Miss Stacy. Your joke was great. And I always like talking with you and, and the church. And you know what? I think today I'm going to just slow down and try and listen more to, to God and the yeah. way God talks to me. Yes, I'm going to do the same, Moet. Let us slow down right now and say a prayer. Lord, you have a calling on each of our lives. We need your guidance and we need your direction. Help us to open up our hearts and our minds so that we can hear you clearly. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen.